Hey guys, Crystal here at Crystal's Crafties. Today's tutorial, I want to show you how to slice an Inkscape. Um, slice is a little bit more of a Cricut Design Space word. It doesn't actually exist in Inkscape, but you can still do it. There's three different ways to achieve this. We have division, exclusion, and difference. Division is the most similar to slice, so I'm going to show you how division works. So let me get a circle and let me grab a star. Okay, so I just want to square that off a little bit. So let's say that I would like to slice this star out of the circle. I've placed the star on top of the circle. I'm going to drag my box to select both. Path, division. There it is. It got sliced out of the circle and all these pieces are their own separate thing now. You control Z to get all this back where we were. So you can see what happened here. It, the star, got sliced out of the circle. But if you'll notice, it cut off the ends of the star. You're not going to keep anything outside of the object that you sliced from. So this is my object that I sliced. The star is my object that I sliced. The circle is the object that I sliced from. So if I were to make this star smaller, let's do it again. Square this off, make it smaller. Whoop, come here you, get smaller. And I put it inside. I'm going to be able to keep all of my star now because it's smaller than my circle. My object I'm slicing isn't any larger than the object I'm slicing out of. Let's select all of that. Path, division, and there it is. I keep the whole star this time. And this actually stayed all in one piece because there was nothing um, overlapping. Okay, let's do something other than a circle and a star. Let's take this rectangle and let's say I would like to cut it in half. So I'm going to come to my Bezier tool here and just draw a line. Click once, click twice, I have my line drawn. Um, you have to click out of this. You see if I just click anywhere again it's going to get me another point. I don't want to do that. You have to click out of it. And I need to delete that because I have, if you'll see, I have this other point down here. I don't want that. So. Bezier, just draw yourself a line and you can, you know, straighten it if you want. If you want to get really precise, you can make sure your line is straight or you can put it wherever you want. Click out of it. So now I have this crazy curved line that I really didn't intend on getting, but I have. And I would like to use this line to split this rectangle into. Drag my box around everything. Path division and I now have that rectangle split in half or sliced using the line that I drew. So there are several different ways that you can use this division to be like slice in Cricut Design Space. It will do the same thing. Let's talk about difference because it looks like what I did before. It looks like I just did the division and sliced the star out of the circle, but there is there is some different functionality to it. So let me show you. Let me get my circle, get my star, bring it over here. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to drag my box around both. And I'm going to come to path and difference this time, not division. We did division the first time. Let's do difference this time. And you'll notice the star is gone now. All I have left is my circle because what difference does is literally takes the difference of the two objects. If you put them together, it leaves the difference for you. It doesn't divide it, it doesn't make a division, it literally takes one out of the other and only leaves one object behind. So if we do our star and our circle, let me make this squared off again. This time we have our star bigger than our circle. If I do it, whoops, get them both. 
path, difference. I'm going to come up with the same thing, but notice my star is gone. I don't have that star to work with anymore. Let me put the circle on top of the star. Let's see here. And I want this bigger. Okay, I'm going to move the star to the bottom. And I'm going to do the difference of the circle and the star. And all I'm going to be left with are these little points. So let's do this. Path, difference. And now I just have these little points here. So the first difference left me the difference of the smaller star in the circle. The second difference left me the difference of the larger star in the circle. And the third difference left me the difference of the star in the circle with the star being in the back. So when you're using difference, whatever is on top is going to be removed from whatever is behind. Let's see, I've got this rectangle. I'm gonna duplicate it, make it bigger and change its color put it down behind. Okay, so I'm going to take the difference of this blue rectangle from the purple rectangle. Path and difference. And now I just have that cut out of the middle. If I'm using division, if I do this blue rectangle and this purple one and I do path division, they're both still here. I can still use my smaller one and my bigger one. I have access to both of them. So that's that's the main difference there. Division, you're going to be able to access both parts. Difference, you're going to lose whatever you slice out of the bigger one. Okay, let me get rid of all of this stuff here. And let's talk about exclusion. This is a really cool function. So, I have a rectangle, I have a circle. If I put this circle on top of my rectangle, select them both, and I come to Path Exclusion, it cuts out the intersection. Wherever they cross at, it cuts all of that out, but it leaves the rest, and it makes the whole thing one item, which isn't really useful for much except for these really fun text effects. So uh, actually let me get a circle. You can see it up here where I did it with a rectangle. Let me do it with a circle. And let's see. Let's get some text. Sure, my name is fine. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. And let's make it a color we can see better. Let's make it like this green. Okay. So I'm going to split the S kind of in half. So here's crystal, here's the circle, path, exclusion. And that, it just leaves a really cool effect if you're making like these text SVGs. The last half of crystal stayed, the first half sliced out. So that, um, that's exclusion. Let me go over it one more time because I know there's probably still a little bit of confusion in this division and difference. So, if you see up here, they even have little um, pictures for you. So, difference literally takes one item out of another and leaves you with just the difference. Division will cut them, will slice just like Cricut Design Space slices, and you'll be left with everything that you need as long as what you're slicing isn't any larger than the item you're slicing it out of. And exclusion separates the two objects leaving leaving some of both. It just takes the intersection. So let me do like division. This is what we would use to make one of these split level monograms. Let's get rid of my name there. Let's pull in a circle. Oops, I don't need another circle. Um, and let's take this rectangle and let's say we want to split this in half to make one of those monogram things where you'd write your name in the middle. So we've got our rectangle, hold shift, 
select the circle, path, division, and I can now take this whole part out of my circle. And these are completely separate now. I can move them individually of each other. If I did this same thing, let me back all this out. I'm just control Z to delete everything I've done. Okay, if I take the same thing, I've got my rectangle and my circle, and I do difference, path difference, it sliced out that middle part, but it took it away completely, and this is all still one object. I cannot move them separately from each other anymore. They stay one object. Let me do a star. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to center all of this. Okay. I'm going to do path division. That star, it's still kind of in there. And I can just take off these little pieces and everything is separate now. Okay, let me control Z to get back to where I started. Okay, so here's my star. Select it all and I'm gonna do difference this, this time. Path, difference. It removed the star completely, and this is all one object now. So that's the main thing. Difference, you're going to be left with just one item. It's going to take whatever you slice out, remove it completely, left with one item. Division leaves you all of your parts, and each thing is separate. I can move these individually now. Um, and exclusion is just a really cool way to get a great looking text graphic going. Okay, so that is all I have for you guys today. We'll see you next time.